How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. I'm your host Riley. Today we're going to build a working Lego snowmobile. It's going to be super cool. We're going to use it in the snow outside. Hopefully we won't ruin all our parts. Let's grab all the pieces so we can get started with the build. All right, so we got most of the pieces we're going to use. The first thing I want to show you is that I have already built some sections. I have not tested these yet. I've not attached them. However, I had to build these for the programming so I could make sure they work like the turning mechanism that works like this. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, I'm going to put them together and I'm going to build a frame and then we're going to go test it. So this is the EV3 brick. This is basically the brain. So we're going to attach everything to this with these cords here. And I'm going to program this with my computer. I'll show you how I did the programming. It's really easy. This is the IR remote and this is the sensor for that. The sensor is going to attach somewhere on the build and then I'll be able to control it from far away. And when it wipes out, I'll have to go pick everything up. But the first thing we're going to do is just attach all this, make sure it's in the snowmobile formation, and then we'll cover everything up and make it look like an actual snowmobile. Let's do it. Once we lay out the basic frame, it should be pretty easy after that. You just gotta make sure that you do it right the first time. This will be a little higher up in here to do an angle like that. I don't know though, because then steering would be a little different, so probably not do an angle. Also, I wanna show you guys the gear mechanism rolling in there. The way that gear ratios work is that if you have a big, big gear here, tiny gear here, and you attach the motor to the big gear, the tiny gear is gonna spin a lot faster because of the rate the big gear is spinning. You just run an axle right there. Okay. This is really all it is. It's just all trial by error, and then you gotta make it work. So I want to kind of convert this from Technic to Bricks. I can use Technic Bricks to do that. And that'll just give me more points to build on with the actual bricks we're going to use to make it look nice. So now that we have that, what we need to do is figure out how this goes on. Okay, there we go, we got the chassis. Now you may be thinking, these things are really high. We gotta lower these, and then we gotta put this on, and then we gotta put some more weight up in the front. Cause we really want most of the weight to be up here, and that'll really help it steer. So, let's do that. That's not too sturdy on there, but I mean, it's pretty heavy, so I don't think it's gonna fall off. This cord should be able to fit right in there. Just click. Nice. All right. This goes around to here. And this goes to C. And I'm saying C because that's where it goes in the programming. I don't want to forget. All right. Now we have that ugly wire right there. You fold that down. Put that there. All right. Now we need to connect the two motors in the back. And I'm just doing this now so that it doesn't hinder with my design later. Everything's attached except for the IR. And this is what we're gonna put on last because it needs to be seen by the receiver. And so we're gonna make sure we put this in our design, maybe as a headlight or a rear bumper thing. Or maybe we could even just stick it on there. Man, this thing is actually getting pretty heavy.
All right, I'm gonna plug this piece in and then we'll test it. All right, so pretend that it's backwards. I gotta fix the programming. It's gonna go that fast and then it's gonna steer. Let me show you guys how the steering works. Is that way? Works a lot better when you're actually moving. That's how the snowmobile's gonna run. Ooh, red looks nice. This should hit those before it hinges too far. There we are. Now we have the ugliest slow snowmobile I've ever seen. We're just gonna get cooler. Trust me. Guys, that is an amazing looking ski do so far. Okay, so basically to sum this up, this is how the programming works. We have a forever block here, which basically a loop block which means it's gonna go on forever no matter what happens. Uh, we have if, then, so if I press the button, then the motors will start, and this is the motor speed in pink, and then the different motor, we have B selected here in blue. And then that's for these back motors here. We have the other motor on the other side so that they'll work in sync. Um, and then on this side, this is the steering mechanism. It's basically motor C. When I press, or if I press this button, then motor C will run. And if I press bottom right button, then it's going to run in the opposite direction to steer that way. So if I download and run this, it should play. So that's basically how the programming works. You can download the free programmer at lego.com. But now, let's take this outside and test it in the real snow to see if it works. Well, that didn't work exactly as planned. However, the concept was there. The concept to have a moving vehicle made of Lego and Mindstorms works. So what if we made this into a Lego drift car in a different episode? Let me know down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science.